All right, guys, far here, and potentially the Knicks could land at the fifth overall pick. We've got a pretty strong chance of unfortunately landing there. Um, so who could we potentially pick up with that? I'm here to tell you guys about a guy by the name of Rui Hachimura. See what we did there, right? If you remember a few years ago, we had the Frank Nilakina Hachimura. Let me tell you why you guys shouldn't be all that disappointed if we fall to five and this Japanese national gets to the New York Knicks. We don't know him that well. You know, he came from Japan. He played at Gonzaga for about uh, three seasons. He's a six, eight forward, kind of lanky guy, plays with a lot of energy. I want to tell you guys a little bit of the backstory before I get into the pros and cons of Rui Hachimura. So he started playing his junior year of high school and uh, he took his high school team to back to back country national championships so this kid really had a natural feel for the game um, he is half japanese and half african-american that's pretty interesting but he did grow up mostly in japan and uh he grew up all in japan he's on the national team in japan so his language barrier was a slight issue coming in as well but a couple of not noticeable performances on the international stage for this kid he averaged 22.6 points per game in the FIBA Under-17 tournament, uh, including 25 points against Jason Tatum and Josh Jackson uh, against Team USA. He's really kind of become the face of Japanese basketball, uh, just to give you guys a scope of how seriously big this guy is globally. Um, so that could bring an interesting aspect to the New York Knicks. His freshman year at Gonzaga, he barely played. He actually had a language barrier, and then he really picked it up his sophomore season, being named uh, all-conference player, so that's pretty good improvement. And then his junior season, where he's at right now, ranked a top player in the league for the number one team in the NCAA, averaging 20 points per game, 6.3 rebounds, 44% from three point and 61% field goal. This kid doesn't only put his back to the basket, he's got a little stroke too to his shot, his mid range. So, definitely an interesting talent. Let me go into the formal pros and cons of, uh, of, of this guy here. So, physical frame, and he's growing. A lot of people make that connection to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, that is a realistic possibility. This kid has that kind of athleticism, that kind of length, that kind of willpower just to drive his team, and he's been in a lot of big moments. That frame is something that's definitely a pro. He's got good mid-range. He, he shoots at 60% collectively, and then also 45% from behind the arc. He doesn't take a whole lot of threes yet. That's definitely something that scouts think that he can develop in the pro game. And finally, he plays hard. He has a good motor and he crashes the boards. That type of energy could go a long way for NBA teams, especially when the Knicks are kind of looking for that energy at forward. Let's talk about cons now. He's a little bit positionless. He's listed at 6'8", but he plays the four in college. I know we're kind of letting go of positionless basketball, but this is slightly a concern. We already dealt with it once with a six foot seven point guard and Frank Nilakina. Can we do that positionless thing again? I don't know. So that's kind of a con right there, but it could also work out in our favor. Um, he's kind of a line drive ball handler, so he definitely needs to pick that part of his game up. We see from international players often um, who might not come from Europe directly, but their ball handling skills might be a little bit suspect. However, he's a quick learner. We think that he can potentially drive his, uh, he, we think he could eventually dribble the ball like a true NBA player. Um, basketball IQ is kind of average. That comes along with the language barrier. In fact, one of the reasons he didn't play freshman year is because he couldn't understand simple concepts like pick and roll or box out or ISO. He just didn't have that language comprehension. Now things have obviously changed. So he's a pretty, pretty interesting concept. Let me know what you guys think about Rui Hachimura. Say it with me, Rui Hachimura. He could very well be a New York Knicks.